This is the Monster Rod Holder booth. We yeah, we just got here a little bit late, so we got here about an hour ago. There you go. But now you're here. Yeah. The infamous. <laughs> Is this a single action? Single action. Single action, yeah. These are the only ones we have left now. All mm -hmm. the other single actions have become obsolete. Unfortunately. Really? Now what what degrees is this? It's about roughly a twenty two. Is it? So let me answer your rod. Kinda it's like your good do all angle. Oh, okay. You, know, you can basically suspend, you can bridge. Yeah, it is. Troll. You it's can even anchor with it if you really want to, so Yeah. Typically, you know, we want like you know, like the, the double action is pretty. Yeah, it is. That double action gives you gives you options. Love that one. And it also has a couple extra stuff too. So these are the easy ones. These are the 33. You know, so you can pull up 45. Once again, too. I like the I like the 45. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna set this off to the side here, so you can actually get it as a zero. Oh. We don't advertise for it, but you can. But these are it, all. The it's easy not really going anywhere. Yeah. And then you can also get like that as well to get like a 30, 25 ish in that range. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> if you also want to, not many people do because it's a little bit harder, but you can insert it right here as well. And use that 20 to 25. Was it, so that's like basically five different ways. Yeah. And if you really want to, <laughs> he's got another one. You can set one right here yeah. and, and have this one off the side. Oh. It's, and set two and one. You just blew my mind. Or that yeah, actually you did actually no yeah. so um awesome and these are our newest model of rod holders these are our talent 535s these are not as fancy as those so they don't offer as much but they do offer a natural low almost horizontal degree okay. angle as well as the capabilities of getting up there so you can anchor you can control you can do whatever you so want. is that like a, a about a 35 35 okay as i say it looked a little bit yeah, these are called our Talent 535s. So basically, the number just represents um, that we advertise. The when? only lie that we tell is this. This is called a 033. It does not offer 0 or 33. It offers a 5, or the same as the Talent, and like a 55. Look at that. But it's just a good, it's a good, is this the name of the model? Is yeah, that what it's it is? just the name of the model. Okay. <laughs> when did you guys start going with the different colors? Because I've noticed, I've noticed different, you know, people with these on their boats, and they say Monster Rod Holder on the, you know, have a sticker, and I was kind of confused. But did you do do those by custom, or or if somebody wants them, or did you just this is what you guys? So make we just now? come out with different color series, just depending. Um, there for a while, we had a little bit with a Sea Arc. So as you can see, our rod holders are on that CR mm -hmm. boat. That's what I was looking at, yeah. And it kind of matches, we kind of went back and forth with the camo. They match the amped series. So this matches the amped green, this matches the amped red, this matches the amped orange, and this matches the amped blue. So you're not just a one size thing anymore. You want to be able to, to match their boat and not kind of stick out. And we got yeah. a couple more different color options coming. I know we're coming out with the Pelagic series, which is like salt water. We're going to come out with the white one eventually. Uh, we're also going to try to come out with some sort of like tan ish for camel boats. But uh, not only do we have these in the talents, but we also have these in 3345s as well. Hey. I like those. Yep, yeah, we're definitely going to need to get some of these for our boat. I do like the uh, the three, three in one stands that you guys have. Mm -hmm. The corn uh, bars over here? It's actually something, uh, oh, yeah. it's a little bit newer. I like this, I mean, you don't have to have a dedicated rod rack on the back, but you can have still have six pole holders on the back and just utilize just utilize each corner, I like that. And this is something we've done in the last six months or so, but uh, if you look down here on this base plate, you do see like the star pattern here. Oh, oh, so you oh. can, so you can rotate it 15 degrees. So what you have to do is you just have to remove this metal rod holder and then once oh, wow. you lift up the load on, just, just loosen up it. enough to clear it and then you can just kind of get the right angle that you want yep. and then you just lock it back down with the middle rod holder Jeez. and then so you're really able to get that spread out i like that so has uh, steve been around today right there that was the man the myth the legend uh, himself he is he de sure. definitely i've been watching him for years products of ours. this is our cutting board mounts so we literally Ooh. just got these in like last week <clears throat> 
the quick move? Oh, yes, okay. sir. So, quick release for travel and storage. Nice. And the setup comes as displayed. You get these two bars right here, this centerpiece, so basically everything in here. Plus, you get screws right here. Um, Catfish Conference, Steve will countersink your cutting boards for you because, like I said, we just got them in last week, so we don't have the boards already countersunk. And then he'll be able to mount them together. Uh, but this is a flat mount. This is for any side railing or any part of the boat that's flat that you want to mount it to. This is a one inch round rail mount. This is for like your sea arcs, your northwesterns, or anything else with a one inch round rail. And this is an adjustable track mount. So, as you can see here, this rotates. Oh. So basically, if you have a Lund, G3, War Eagle, XL, it's got a little... Sea Arc, whatever, that has a track system, mm -hmm. that can accommodate to it. <laughs> and if so you, you don't have, have to go drilling on anything, right. right? If you have a John boat and you still want to have something like this because they have the rounded gunnel and they don't really have the flat spot, mount this directly to the inside of the uh, John boat right there underneath the gunnel, hold it at that 90, and then you're able to still get the cutting board on there on John boats. So. Nice. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Steve's a genius, man. Yeah. So I mean, he comes up with all this. He I mean, had, he comes up. He he has a good R and D team. Uh, I mean, that no good. fishing, right? No yeah. boats, no fishing, and so, wow. Yeah. That's what we got. Uh, those are sturdy. We literally got those mm. today. The catch the conference started. So Thursday night, uh, we had a guy that made these for us. Steve wanted to help him out. I'm gonna get in these early. Uh, rod holders, they hold at that higher, like mm. 60 degree angle. And they are about, this is what it looks like outside the green. Oh, mm, so. Perfect. Oh, yeah, they're there. Hammer that in, too. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is for, so whenever you hammer it in, it doesn't mess with the structure of this. How much are these? $20. $20. And, and then conference price. And then these are you can obviously screw yep. it. Really and uh, um, these are called our ground stake bases on our website. But we also have this thing called the Bank Master Pro, where it's basically you take off these base plates and stuff. And you already put me on a 50 pound flathead, so I mean I can. Yeah, dude, that thing will it change your life, dude. Oh man. <laughs> Let's see it. Once, once, you, you, that once you start pulling in on that. There he is himself, I mean, Mr. Steve Dog. The legend. The man, the myth, the legend, right here. Hey. Guys, how's hey. Going, man? Nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Matt. Nice Nick. to meet you, Matt. Nick. Nick? Nice to meet you, Nick. How you doing, man? Watching you for a while. Yeah. Have you? Watching you for a while. Yeah, where we you started get them, our own. Where you get them cool, um, oh, this is our channel. Shirts. This is our YouTube our channel. channel. I ain't got one. <laughs> oh, man, uh, we should have brought some extra. We brought one. We'll send you one. Yeah, How about Catfish that? Catfish KC. Yep. Is that uh, your YouTube channel? Yep. Okay. Are yep. we on YouTube now? Yeah. Not live. Okay. Not live. Yeah. But I had I had a question sure. for you. I, I was gonna see if you ever fished the Kansas River. Yeah. You have? Uh -huh. Any any good flatheads out of there? No, I've got fished the Kansas River one time. One time? When I was in here in June. This looking, year. Looking for this place. What did you find? We, I, we went up there and fished the Kansas River. Uh, he he went up there. And I went with Eddie Henney and John Bergland. Okay. And we went up to Kansas River for a little while, caught some fish, not nothing big, and then went down to Missouri and did the bumping. Mm -hmm. caught a few yeah, Missouri is definitely. Yeah, the but boat we have right day, now. I did go back to the Kansas River, somewhere 50 miles that way, and when I got into it, we had to go with a duck, a duck boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah our, our, our boat's our boat's real flat bottom. Yeah. I mean, in a foot of a foot of water, I can get through maybe, oh, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, this guy had to get out of the boat, push us through, and everything. <laughs> oh yeah. This year especially, man. Like this year, there's been spots where we could really? almost walk across. The way. Oh yeah. So you set him on this. Wait, that was your first fish. Basically, that was my first real fish. That's a good way to start. <laughs> he, he, he basically, he basically, oh, cra he basically. Look at that cheesy horses. smile he got. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at the hat. There you go. What do you uh, like thanks. That hat? Yeah. 